and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I am going to be doing something so exciting. I'm finally doing a bookshelf tour, so I'm pretty hyped for that. I hope you are too. <laughs> Just for a little like information about my bookshelves, these two that I have on the side here, I literally have no idea where they're from. They've been in my room since I was a wee small child, but this middle one here is the very basic Billy bookshelf from Ikea in white. I kind of wish I had three Billy bookshelves, but we're working with what we have here. And then I also have a little three cube organizer right in front of my window right here that you cannot see, but it's just where I keep a couple of books. So we're gonna get into the tour. I really hope you enjoy. So first I'll give you a quick little overview pan of my shelves and then we will get more into detail in a moment. Also, my cat Fritz was posing so nicely in front of my bookshelf, so you know, she had to get some screen time. <laughs> so first up on this shelf, I have all of my books with covers that are primarily black. This consists of mainly horror and mystery novels, but I think I see like a nonfiction and there's some manga. So it's kind of a mishmash, but like generally it's horror and mystery. A couple of favorite books that I have on this shelf are my copy of Salem's Lot. This is my favorite Stephen King book and I absolutely love the cover for this book. I don't even know why. Next up we have Twilight. Now I did recently get rid of the rest of the Twilight series but I had to keep the first one purely for nostalgia purposes. And then my last favorite on this shelf is this horror anthology that I picked up earlier this summer. What really drew me in was the cover design of it. I just think it is so cool and I had to get it. As for general decorations on this shelf, I have a couple of zero figurine type things because I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Then I also have these tiny lights, which I think are so cute. I found them in my parents' attic and I had to put them on this shelf. I also have these Salem's Lot earrings that I made a couple of months ago that I literally cannot wait to wear in October. And then I also have this little Moomin candle that I got from Urban Outfitters that I absolutely love. And it looks even cuter when it's lit because you can like see through the white parts of it. And then kind of between these two shelves, I have this little cat mask that I found in my parents' attic. Moving up a shelf, we have my green, blue, and purple books, plus a stack of black mass market paperbacks just because it worked as a good bookend there. Some of my favorites on this shelf include These Witches Don't Burn. This is a really fun, sapphic little witch story that I love so much. The next on the shelf is the very first Stephen King book that I ever bought. I don't talk about Stephen King a lot on my channel, but I do really love a lot of his books. And this is the first one that I got from him, and I really just love to keep it around. And then we have a booktube favorite, which is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This book was so good. I have not continued this series yet, but I do plan to very soon. And then we have one of my absolute favorite books from last year. This is The October Country by Ray Bradbury. It's just a short story collection of a bunch of very weird and kind of disturbing stories that all take place in October. It also has some illustrations throughout it, which is always a plus in my book. I also have Murder on the Orient Express just chilling up here. And then I also have this little people mover car, which I also thought worked well with the blue scheme. This is the best ride in Disney World. Don't even, don't even try and argue. <laughs> Moving on to my main bookshelf. The very top shelf is where all of my Greek lit is and some illustrated Harry Potter just randomly. Some favorites include the entirety of the Percy Jackson in the Olympian series. I have not read the last Olympian yet, but I will read it soon, maybe. <laughs> The Oristia was probably one of my favorite collections of plays that I read for my Greek lit class that I took this last semester. I also have The Haunting of Hill House up here just because this is where the rest of my penguin black spines are. And I love this book so much. It was so good. I also have Symposium by Plato. This was another one of the books that I needed to read for my Greek lit course. And it was just so interesting. Like I really thought I was gonna hate this, but I really ended up liking it. I also have this teeny tiny little golden ear hat that I got from Disneyland's 50th anniversary when we went when I was five. Also, ooh, these are really cool. This is like a deck of information about various Greek heroes and gods and monsters that I like to flip through every now and then. And then I also have this Greek bust, which is from Anthropology, and I just think, you know, on the Greek lit shelf, makes sense. So the rest of my shelves are basically sorted by favorite authors slash series. So first up we have my Victoria Schwab slash Tolkien shelf. It's really hard for me to pick favorites from this shelf because 
I love all of these books so much, but if I had to pick a favorite from Victoria Schwab, it would probably be The Savage Song. It just really means a lot to me, and I loved it so much the first time I read it, and I need to give it a reread soon. And then as far as Tolkien goes, I would probably choose The Hobbit. I annotated this copy when I read it last year, and I just love the little drawings that I did throughout it. I love flipping through this. This last one here I got inspired by Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. She did this on her copy of The Hobbit and I loved it so much that I wanted to do it to mine too so I did. Moving on to my two favorite shelves. Yeah, that's right, you knew they were coming. They're my Shadowhunter shelves. This first shelf here houses the earlier timeline for the Shadowhunter Chronicles, so it has my two personal favorite series, The Inferno Devices, and the two books that are out of The Last Hours. My favorite of The Last Hours is Chain of Gold, solely because Chain of Iron really hurt me in a lot of different ways. And then my favorite in the Inferno Devices is Clockwork Prince because it's so angsty. So, so many things happen. It's my, oh, uh, I, wow. But as far as a favorite edition goes, I have this gorgeous 10th anniversary edition of Clockwork Angel. I love this book so much. And then also that really tiny version of The Midnight Air, which is from the Bane Chronicles that I can't stop talking about. Also, this is my favorite plant that I have in my room, so obviously it had to go on my favorite shelf. It's in this really cool pot that I found from the thrift store for like a dollar. I also found this like porcelain duck in my parents' attic. Look, a lot of the stuff on my shelves comes from my parents' attic, I guess, but it's like a running thing throughout all of the Shadowhunters series that the Herondales are scared of ducks, so you know I had to put it on the Infernal Devices. This next shelf is my current day Shadowhunter shelf, plus two paperbacks of the Inferno Devices. Look, don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> but my favorite out of the Dark Artifices, I think is the Queen of Erin Darkness. I like them all a lot, but this one may be just a little bit more than the others. And then we also have my favorite short story collection, Following Brother Zachariah. You already know what it is. I also recently finished my collection of the Mortal Instruments paperbacks. I was looking for a City of Heavenly Fire for like three months, but I finally found it and I'm so hyped. I also have Isabel Lightwood's Demon Detecting Necklace. I got this a couple days ago and I just think it's such a cool addition to my shelf. This Shadowhunters Codex is like a book pot that came in the Infernal Devices Illumicrate box. I found this on eBay for $35 and it was such a good investment. <laughs> Moving down, we have my Stephen King shelf, which I just, all the books are the same height. It's so satisfying to look at, but behind the Salem's Lot art print, I have my favorite editions of his books, which are the book club editions. In this edition, I have Pet Cemetery, which is my all-time favorite book that I have by him. I also have Cujo, and then I also have Firestarter, which is also really cool looking. I also have a random Michael Crichton book on here. Um, it was just the same height as the other ones. <laughs> Moving on to the very bottom shelf, I have my Harry Potter books. I just have most of the US hardbacks and most of the US paperbacks. I don't have a complete set of either, which is kind of annoying, but not the point. I also have this gorgeous 10th anniversary edition of Sorcerer's Stone. Oh my god, I love the gold foiling on it. Like, chef's kiss, so pretty. I also have this tiny night bus that I got when I went to Universal. It's so cute and the obligatory chocolate frog box. You know, you know, it had to be there. Also, I keep my old bullet journal on this shelf just because I didn't know where else to put it. And it, it looks kind of cool facing out. I don't know, I liked it. Moving on to the last two shelves that I have on this wall. I really don't even know how to classify this shelf. It's very random. It has all of my Heartstopper graphic novels on them, which I didn't realize how pretty they looked together like look at those colors absolutely stunning i could talk about the cover design for these all day i also have some random books sitting there i also have some k-pop albums and then lastly on this shelf i have this little cheshire cat plush although he does tend to disappear sometimes Alrighty, we have arrived 
at the last main shelf here. This is the beginning of the rainbow and the other shelf kind of had the end of the rainbow. So this is all like the reds and yellows and oranges. Some of my favorites on this shelf include We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson and this little tiny mass market paperback of The Shining, which I just think is so cute and tiny. Ugh, I love tiny books. I also have this little purple glass thing that has a candle inside of it, even though the candle's totally burnt out and that did not light. I also had this really cute Kiki's delivery service mug that I got off of Redbubble at one point, but I just love the art style. If I can find this, I will link it down below. And then I have this little flower painting that I found at the thrift store propped up on an easel. And then on top of my main shelf, I have tiny little fancy looking classics. I guess that's how I'm going to classify them. And this does include one of my prettiest copies of a book that I own, and that is The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. So moving on to this little cube organizer that is on the other side of my room. This is the only place in my room where my books are categorized by genre. So this cube is my adult fantasy. Some of my personal favorites being The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I also love The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. And this middle cube here is kind of just decorative. I have this little teacup that I got, I think on clearance from Hobby Lobby a really long time ago. And in it, I keep my little post-it notes that I use for annotating my books. Then I have this gorgeous art print of Persephone in the Underworld. And again, if I can find this, I will link it. Then moving over here, I have more fantasy, but also some books that are annotated that I have flipped out because I think their spines are ugly. Some of my favorites from this shelf include the entirety of the Folk of the Air series, including how the King of Alpheim learned to hate stories. And then these annotated books are actually Stephen King books um, with really boring looking spines. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that video. I had so much fun filming it and editing it. I think it turned out really well. I'm very content with how it turned out. Subscribe down below, like, comment, whatever you're feeling today, and I will see you in my next video.